Theaters are magic. You go into a theater, and I don't care if it's a small little local one in your hometown or something as grand as Radio City Music Hall. When you're in the music hall and the lights go down, it becomes intimate and fascinating and magical. So many people identify movies with some of the best times of their lives. They remember their first dates, they remember their first time out with their family, the first time they went to see a movie about being a doctor, being a politician, being an astronaut. There's something about seeing those stories on screen and you get a chance to understand other cultures, other experiences, other places. We may never live those fantasies or those lives of the people we're watching, but we do it vicariously. You were giving people a complete escape from their ordinary lives. And the moment you walked into the lobby, plush carpeting, gilded relief work on the walls and on the ceilings, magnificent chandeliers, decor from different periods of art and architecture around the globe. This at a time when most people, most Americans, didn't have the opportunity to travel. And when modern audiences get to see a film in a theater like this, today, it's, it's a special experience. Oh my gosh, look at that. Well, 100 years ago, it was an everyday experience. It seems so incredibly lavish. You wonder how anybody could conceive of them, or why they would build such structures just to go to the movies. I can't imagine it either, <laughs> that this is where you would go on an ordinary Friday or Saturday night to see a new movie. As Marcus Lowe, the famous showman and businessman said, we don't sell tickets to movies, we sell tickets to theaters. <laughs>